One day, Edward was in the shed where he lived with the other engines. They were all bigger than Edward and boasted about it. The driver won't choose you again, said Gordon. He wants strong engines like us. But the driver and fireman felt sorry for Edward. Would you like to come out today? Oh, yes, please, said Edward. So they lit his fire, made lots of steam, and Edward puffed away. The other engines were very cross at being left behind. Edward worked hard all day. The coaches thought he was very kind, and the driver was very pleased. I'm going out again tomorrow, Edward told the other engines that night. What do you think of that? But he didn't hear what they thought, for he was so tired and happy that he fell asleep at once. Next morning, Edward woke up to find nothing had changed. Gordon was still boasting. You watch me, little Edward, as I rush through with the express. That will be a splendid sight for you. Goodbye, little Edward. Look out for me this afternoon. Edward went off to do some shunting. He liked shunting. It was fun playing with freight cars. He would come up quietly and give them a push. Then he would stop, and the silly freight cars would go bump into each other. Oh, they cried, whatever is happening? Edward played till there were no more freight cars. Then he stopped to rest. Presently, he heard a whistle. 